little bit about me is I've always, I guess, been a maker, but I didn't know what a maker was. I've always made things since I was a little kid. I sew, I crochet, I like to play with the records and cut them apart into pieces. I make jewelry. Uh, I have a million different things that I make. I can't really say which ones are my favorite, but the ones I do most often are sewing and crocheting. You know, when you think about the maker movement, at least looking from the outside, you, a lot of times you expect it to be some nerdy kid that's maybe, you know, grown up learning how to program or growing up really into technology or robotics or something like that and that. I've always kind of been interested in technology, but growing up I played football, I played tennis, which a lot of people would say that in itself is kind of a contradiction. Um, but, you know, I, I think I probably just don't fit the mold when you think of some guy from Flint, Michigan um, that's, you know, sitting in his room trying to learn all of this stuff and he's actually, a, his real job is a pediatric sales rep. I love to have fun, I love to laugh, I mean there's really no point in being sad. Um, creative, I like to tackle a project and be as creative as I can be when I'm doing it. Um, and hands on, I'm very hands on, I don't like to read a lot of book, like do it this way, this way, this way. I like to try to get my hands dirty and do it myself. Today's project at Steam Junction, building a robot arm out of cardboard, toothpicks, and dispensing syringes. Learning about pneumatics and hydraulics. All done by James, one of our youngest members. There's always something cool going on at Steam Junction. The things that I like to do when I'm making is thinking about how it's going to work and why it's going to work that way. I don't like to do paperwork and filing. <laughs> That's about the only things that I don't like to do, I think. I like new projects. I like learning new things. So I don't know that I could say any projects that I don't like. As far as stuff I don't like to do, adulting. That will have to be the number one thing I do not like to do. Um, because I don't, as a person, I don't take myself seriously. Things that I do like to do is having fun. I love to talk to people. Um, I love to support my hometown of Burlington. Um, I love supporting the maker movement. I like to get out. I like to be involved when I can. I know um, life can get very busy, but um, when I do find the time, I do like to be a part um, of activities. I like being outside. I'm a ve I love nature so much. Like just um, spring, summer, those are my favorite times of the year. I've always been a huge football fan. And growing up, I never really had anyone to practice with. I would go out, I would always want to get extra reps in, but you know, didn't have anyone to throw me the ball. And so I was, I was working for this motor manufacturer and seeing all these cool applications. I kind of thought I did, well, what if you had a programmable football machine? And so that kind of got me researching some different um, things and got me into programming, coding, design, programming motors, and uh, it's just from there, it's just kind of learning more and more things. What got me into making at such a young age was the, um, I come from an artistic family, um, so I was, at that age, I was still trying to find what my thing was gonna be, like what was gonna be my skill. And when I picked up a piece of wood and I cut something out of it for the first time, it was like, I know this is what I really like to do. You know, and bringing art out of a piece of wood um, is something nice about it, you know, and very creative and you have free reign over the wood. Favorite project I've done so far is probably um, a Celtic dragon cross, which had um, a Celtic cross in the middle with two twin dragons on either side of it. And the cross, um, that really spoke to me. I do a lot of crosses, a lot of religious pieces. Faith plays a huge part in my life. Um, I come from a huge Christian family, so you will see me cutting out a lot of those, um, a lot of sayings. Um, so yes, yeah, probably the Celtic cross is what I like the most. Well, once I moved to Burlington and got exposed to Steam Junction, um, I was exposed to some other technologies like 3D printing, um, exposed to some folks that had a, you know, a lot more knowledge in terms of programming than I did. And from there, I just kind of started building this machine step by step. Uh, you know, picked up some welding skills, some electrical skills, 
and to this point it's been it's been a great project because I've learned a ton of stuff. There's so many reasons to take advantage of the maker movement and come to places like Steam Junction. I personally started coming because I had projects that I didn't have the equipment that I needed to to make them and I found out that Steam Junction was here and I have access to 3D printers and laser engravers and a CNC router and I can't afford those things to have personally but I have them here and I have access to them. I think people should join in the maker movement because they can get lots of access to other materials such as a drill press or a 3D printer which could help a lot with building new things and also it, it inspires creativity and makes more people want to join in too. Some people don't have the tools at their disposal and maker spaces like Steam Junction have the tools that you need and sometimes that is all you need is the tool and for a small fee you can come and join, get classes, learn, be around amazing creative people, people that can help you from the thought process to the finished product and I love being a part of it. There's so many different applications to that for business owners and inventors and people who just like to play with stuff and piddle and create. I don't think ever before has there been a time like this where, as I said, people, you know, you can come up with your own idea and now you've got all these resources to help you create it. Um, and, you know, who knows how long this type of economy is going to exist. I mean, hopefully, you know, exists forever, but You've, we're kind of standing at this point in time where people have this unique opportunity and um, you know it'd be a shame if they didn't take advantage of it. <laughs>